Okay, so this is Smithfield Meat Markets. This is where the Animal Rebellion crew occupied yesterday. And some amazing events happened here yesterday. They put up their own plant-based little market here, occupied here. They were singing and um, they had a candle lit, lit vigil around this whole uh, market here. This is a massive stronghold for meat supplying to this whole area here in London. So it's making quite a statement to do an action right here. There's going to be an action that we'll be attending later on. There'll be actions throughout the week that we'll be uh, getting involved with. And I'm looking forward to some really productive uh, advocacy and act activism with the Animal Rebellion team. Let's do it. This is the Extinction Rebellion people. Just not sure where the Animal Rebellion people are. Okay, I'm here because I share the same principles as Animal Rebellion. We want to end animal exploitation and I think it's becoming urgent now. It was becoming urgent a long time ago. There's a crisis, a climate crisis. Most of that is due to our use of animals for food. And I'm here to stand in solidarity with Animal Rebellion and take action. We need a plant-based food system because it's destroying the environment, literally eating animal products. It's absolutely harming human health. The hospitals are filled up with sick human beings who are suffering and dying and animals are suffering beyond comprehension by the billions and it's just a complete, completely insane use of our resources and it's going to be the dest destruction of us all. Um, I think they are distinct from each other, animal rights and environment, but they're becoming, you know, two issues that are kind of sister groups, aren't they, you know, like, because if we stop exploiting animals, you know, and stop breeding them into existence and feeding all these resources to them and using all this land and water, that helps the environment. All the carbon emissions going into the air, the earth's heating up, you know, the oceans are becoming polluted with all the runoff from the factory farms. I mean, these are one and the same. We, we cannot address one thing, the environment, without addressing the animal exploitation. What would you say to people that are on the fence about us? People that are on the fence? Um, look, I think that most people have hold the same principles that we do. They're against animal cruelty, they don't want to see animals be exploited and harmed and killed, and they don't want to see the environment go to shit. So we're all on the same team. It's just our actions are, are in alignment with our principles, and the people who are on the fence, theirs aren't yet. But we all share the same values, so we just need to align those values with our actions and join forces. We all want the same thing. We want to see an Earth in the next 50 years. So we're just heading back to the same site that we were at last night, so it's now the next day. Uh, apparently the police are st uh, starting to try to move the activists on. This is an XR site, but the AR people are also here. Let's go see. vegan couple. Good morning Joey. Good morning. How are you? Good. Fancy Good. seeing you here. Yeah. <laughs> Where else would we be? I know, I know. I saw you were sitting down holding the fort. What's going on here? It's been quite a morning so the plans have changed several times. We have had to be very fluid. Basically we thought the camp was going to leave and then we decided to stay yep. and we were called to sit on the road just to basically hold the camp, hold yep. the fort. A number of people have left the premises for an action okay. and they are the arrestables okay. and everybody else is to stay here and just just hold the space okay. and we're just keeping the morale super high by chanting and singing and letting the, the security, the police, the DEFRA, the department know that we're here, we're staying as much as we
we can. And we're here to represent the animals. We're here to be a voice for them for the animal emergency amongst this climate emergency. Amazing. Thanks, Tash. And Luca, what are your thoughts on everything so far? My thoughts are it's really important that we continue to hold this site, Joey, because yeah. we're outside DEFRA, and DEFRA is responsible for policy making when it comes to agri animal agriculture and the fishing industries. Yeah. So it's very symbolic that we're here. Yeah. The government is the one that has the power to yeah. make the change that's needed yeah. for the environment, for the climate, for animals, for yeah. people that are suffering. And so it's very, very important that we continue to hold this site, even in the face of uh, fear and repression from police. Thanks so much, guys. I know you're off the back of a very uh, hectic tour and you're yes. still here, which is amazing to see. <laughs> yeah, it's the least we can do, as we always say. Amazing. You, know, you just have to keep going because if we were in the animals' positions, if we were the victims, yeah. we'd want people doing it for us. So we have to keep that perspective. No matter how tired we are, how fed up we are, whatever we're feeling, yeah. it's nothing compared to what the animal victims experience. So we just got to keep going for them. Otherwise, it's never going to end, right? Exactly. Yeah. Thank you so much, guys. Thank Pleasure. Thanks, mate. I think this type of peaceful, non-violent direct action is a beautiful thing. It, it fills me with um, a lot of warmth in my heart that there's so many people willing to stand out in the cold and through the weather to stand up for what they believe in. And we need more people fighting like this, peaceful warriors that are doing the right thing. Fantastic. If you could speak directly to the government about this issue, about what we're standing up here for today, what would you say? Well, I, I would say that the government is just a group of human beings who have hearts, who have compassion, who have a conscience. And they're against animal abuse, animal cruelty, and they want uh, the same thing we want, which is an earth to live on. But if they don't take action within the government, then I don't think we have enough time or enough resources ourselves to make change. The, the power is kind of in the, the hands of the government here. We need system change now. We need things to happen now. I mean, advocacy can only work so far. <laughs> We're trying our hardest out here. This is why we need to take action, like direct action, to, to sort of force change within government. I mean, look inside your heart and think where are your children's children going to live. What do you hope for the future? I hope to see a vegan world where animals aren't exploited, where humans aren't exploited, and where the earth is clean and we all live together in peace. That's what I want to see. That's fantastic. Thank you very much, man. Thank you very much. of the DEFRA building here and we've got a group of activists from the Animal Rebellion chained on. The police are about to move in, they're moving into the left there. Okay, so here we are with Kira and Simone, and you guys are coordinators of Animal Rebellion. 
Uh, we have an action behind us. What exactly is going on here? Yeah. And this is the government building strictly linked to the animal farming and the fishing industry. So yeah. that's the place that holds the keys of the plant-based future. So we block the entrance because that's where we need to come to, to ask climate justice but also animal justice. Yeah. yeah, amazing. We want our government to say there are strong, strong, undeniable links between our climate emergency and our animal emergency. We can't address this climate emergency without talking about animal agriculture and the fishing industries. They yeah. need to come to an end and our governments need to tell us the truth about that and act on it. It really is the elephant in the room, isn't it? Yeah. Exactly. You know? All the cows in the room. Really in yeah. 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 Amazing. Thank you yeah. so much, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Uh, we as activists, we witness a lot of suffering. Um, I've witnessed a lot of suffering as my time as an activist and you try to speak out against that suffering and you're met with ridicule and opposition and you know character assassination and we only want peace, we only want justice for animals and it's amazing to be standing here with a bunch of good-hearted human beings who feel the same way and who are willing to take action. Thank you so much. What an insane use of our resources. Yeah. You know, what an insane use of our resources. Forcibly impregnating animals, innocent animals who can't speak for themselves, keeping them away from the public's view in sheds, factories with sentient beings in there suffering, pleading for help. Are we the only ones listening? So sad. We're using all of our land, our water, our resources, our food while people are starving. We're feeding it to animals and we're stabbing them in the neck and killing them and eating their body parts. And, you know, good-hearted people contributing to something so horrific. On one hand, they don't want to see the earth be destroyed. In the other hand, is a burger and they're not, they're not educated on that, that the burger is the cause of the same thing they're fighting against. And you're looking at someone who ate meat for a quarter of a century, steaks every night. You know, I just woke up and I was like, what am I doing? What are we doing to these resources? What are we doing to these poor, innocent animals? I'm a vegan advocate, so I do vegan advocacy. But I realise that's not working fast enough, unfortunately. Yeah. So direct action, is, is what, if that's what it takes, then that, that's what it takes to get the government to listen. I'll be here for the duration of these events. Thank you to everyone involved, everyone who's uh, you know, put their heart and soul into organising these events. And we won't stand down until this industry ends. Thank you. I guess I've been thinking about suffering a lot and um, I guess we're all kind of suffering with the animals and um, it takes a strong person to stand up for what's right in the face of ridicule and opposition and you know police and we're a very small percentage of the population and we just want animals to stop suffering we want the earth to be okay and um, I guess I'm just overwhelmed with emotion just simply because I'm starting to understand that deeper and deeper as I, the longer I'm an animal rights activist and um, just uh, the magnificent. just the, the, yeah, the event right here and people chained onto this building, I just see this as a really pivotal time in history for the, the animal rights movement and it, this the sense of urgency is just building and building and building and finally we're I feel like this, these actions are happening closer together all over the world and I think we're making progress, which is amazing. Yeah, I, I have go, it comes in waves, it comes in waves, but I never stop fighting even if I, you know, I'm, I'm down or not feeling the best about everything, but it's no, there's no question that we keep on fighting no matter what, so. Doing it. I'm I won't stop, I promise. Honestly. I promise. Thank you. Thank you so much. And bear witness to the victims of greed.
We all know what's happened to animals and what happens to animals destroys our environment. And for long times now we've been observing what XR have been doing and their amazing work and we thought, but why isn't the message being told about animal agriculture? And we've been watching from afar and often taking part, joining forces with our environmental friends. But at the same time we felt that something else needed to be done and our message needed to be heard as well. And so that's why we're on the streets for the next two weeks and that's why we're all here in front of DEFRA so that people are aware that when we hurt animals and we murder animals, we are in effect hurting ourselves as well because we are destroying our planet for our gluttonous desire for their flesh and for their secretions and it's an absurdity and atrocity and insanity and one day we will make it end. Police are probably going to cut these activists off with angle grinders. The police are now moving around the back of the site. Looks like the whole place has been surrounded. This whole site has been surrounded by police. Been blocked off, the roads have been blocked off. So it's just a matter of time. I don't know if they can hold this site for much longer, so. Okay, so we've been dispersed from the location, the activists have been cut off the building and that was our second day with Animal Rebellion and I'm quite exhausted, it was quite an emotional day, very powerful, uh, very effective disruption and looking forward to the rest of the actions we'll, we'll be participating in throughout the coming weeks and this isn't the end, so let's keep going.